The Oscars was amazing. <laughs> no, genuinely, it was my first time there. I am uh, eternally grateful to anyone who like, like made it happen. I was, I, was, I was in heaven. I was like, this is genuinely insane. Like, everyone tries to act fancy about it. I see people tweeting all the time, like, oh, nobody cares about the Oscars. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I don't care about it. <laughs> Man, I don't care. And then it's like, Helen Mirren? Was that Helen Mirren? <laughs> Oh my God, Daniel Craig! I care, I care now, I care. <laughs> People try and act cool all they want, man. It's like, no matter who you are around the world, you watch movies. Do you know what I mean? Like movies that'll make you happy, movies that'll make you sad. These people, you see them as part of your life, you've grown up with them, and then when you see them in person, it's, it's, it's a magical experience. It genuinely is. Like the event was amazing, and there's like all these after parties that come afterwards, and I didn't know about these things. So it's like, there's the main event, and then there's like the first after party, and then there'll be like the next after party. It's like, a, like it's called the Vanity Fair after party. And it's super, super like, like exclusive. And then you go there. And so we get there. And this is also where you see like levels of fame and stuff, which I really love. Cause <laughs> like we're all standing in line. Everyone there has achieved something in some way. You know what I mean? So I'm standing there, it's myself, it's Terry Crews. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, like you're standing in the line with people. People know, like, you, you, you know what I mean? It's Keegan-Michael Key, there he is. It's like, yeah, we, we, we've done stuff. You know us. And then we're, we're moving forward and then they stop us. They're like, please move aside. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is coming through. <laughs> and literally we're all like, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And, and JLo walks in and she goes and she stands. And this was the funniest thing because there's all these photographers taking pictures, right? And they're like taking pictures of us while we're standing there. And then when JLo comes, it's almost like the photographers wish they could untake our pictures. <laughs> Like, they wish they could be like, ah, oh, I wish I hadn't wasted any battery on these men. Because she, I don't know if you saw the pictures of her, she looked amazing. She had like this glitter ball gown thing. It was like mirrors, it was reflecting. It was like, just like, it's like, so she's walking through and everyone is just like, she looks stunning. Everyone, you, everyone just wanted a picture of her. Like no one, we, we didn't exist anymore as people. <laughs> As, as anything. Like even, even, my, even my iPhone started deleting my own pictures <laughs> by itself. It was just like, no, no, make space, take pictures of JLo. It's like, this is my family. Screw your family, Trevor. <laughs> take pictures of JLo. So, so, that was, so that was the one after party. And then, um, in my opinion, probably the best after party of the night is the Jay-Z Beyonce after party. Yeah, so they, they throw, and it's like the coolest thing ever. There's no social media, there's no anything. It's just people having a great time. And it, like everyone's just having fun. But again, it's a little, it's a little weird. Cause like, you, you, if you're not used to it, you, there are moments when you go like, this is surreal, right? Cause like one moment I'm on the dance floor and I'm dancing, I'm like dancing, dance. Cause the DJ Black Coffee was there. South African DJ, amazing. And, and he's on, the, and so I'm dancing. I'm like, yeah, South African, <laughs> South Africans. And then, and then Usher comes onto the dance floor and he's like, let's dance. Let's, and it's like, no, 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 Usher. No, you're like a professional, no. Like the rest of us is just like, hey, hey. And then Usher's like, move, move to the other one, to the thing, do it all, yeah, bam. And it's like, no, there should be like a professional dance floor and then a dance floor for the rest of us. This is both, like the rest of us is just like, like making our bodies move and Usher's dancing. It's like, what's next, karaoke with Beyonce? No, it's not fair. It's not fair, you, you go dance over there. And speaking of Beyonce, like Beyonce and Jay, night, like just the sweetest, nicest people ever. You know, this was the weirdest moment of my night and maybe my life, I will see where I categorize it, was I'm on the dance floor, everyone's having a good time, and then Beyonce starts walking in my direction. So I'm like, oh, I should move, right? Because it's Beyonce, where she is going is not to me. So I'm like, I'm like I must move, it's Beyonce. And I also do not want the beehive coming after me because they're like, yo, you blocked Beyonce's path. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in this. So she like walks towards me. So I like turn to move out of the way. But it turns out she was coming to say hi. She says hi to everybody. Like just like, like a nice hi. You, you, you think she'd be like sitting in a box like waving? No. <laughs> she's saying hi and she's really cool. And she comes over to say hi. But now I'm like moving away from her. <laughs> And she's like trying to like come in and hug me and say hi. And I'm like moving. And then I realize I'm like, I'm like, I'm making Beyonce do this weird move. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, Beyonce. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, if it never happens again, it's fine. I'm done. <laughs> the NAACP Image Awards were like w super amazing this weekend. Some of the most fun I've ever had. Um, Jay-Z and Beyonce attended, which is always like a, like it's anywhere they go. 
It's like, I've seen presidents that have less security than them. <laughs> like, literally, like, they arrived, and it was, like, royalty. And it's a room, like, full of, like, movie stars and TV actors and musicians. And Jay-Z and Beyonce come, and everyone's like, shh. <laughs> and they go, and, like, they sit in the front row, and we're, like, all behind them. And everyone's, like, looking over, and it's just like... <laughs> and you can see, and, like, everyone in the back is almost, like, breathing the same air, breathing... <laughs> Breathing the same air. Well, was, this was honestly maybe one of my favorite moments in life that I will, I will cherish until I die. So at the end of the awards, so Jay-Z was the recipient of the President's Award for all the work that he's done with criminal justice reform, right? He's done an amazing job fighting to reform, um, you know, mass incarceration in America. And Beyonce is up for the final award of the night, which is Entertainer of the Year. So she's, she might go up and then receive her award and so, like, there's gonna be a whole thing, like, when she goes, is she gonna leave? Is Jay-Z gonna stay? So she wins, right? She's Beyonce, she wins. So she goes up, <laughs> and she receives her award, and then she leaves backstage. But Jay-Z's st sitting in the front row. And his security, I guess, didn't realize that the show was gonna end as abruptly as it did, right? And so, they, like, his bodyguards are, like, standing at the edge of the theater where we're at, and we're in the middle of the theater. And then Anthony Anderson comes out, and he's like, all right, good night, everybody, that's the show, goodbye. And that was it. So everyone just stands up. And everyone's like, they, they just bum rush the stage and, and then everyone just rushes to Jay-Z because they're like, it's Jay-Z! <laughs> everyone rushes towards him. Now, I'm trying to get out because if you've ever left any, you know when you leave an event, there's gonna be chaos, there's gonna be, doesn't matter, the celebrity or not, it's, it's, traffic is traffic, all right? <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I wanna leave. So I see Jay-Z and now Jay-Z's getting mobbed. And so like, like, he wants to push his way out and the bodyguards wanna push their way, but like you're jammed because everyone's leaving that way. And Jay-Z can't push the people because he's Jay-Z. Right? You can't push people when you have a billion dollars. I, like, it's, everything is a lawsuit waiting to happen. You can't. So he just has to keep his arms by his side. So I run up to him, and then I'm like, Jay! And he turns, and his eyes light up. He's like, oh, Trevor, what's up? And I was like, oh, he remembers me. Thank God. And so... Because <laughs> it's not like we're friends. I just know him. So I'm like, oh, yes, it's me. And I was like, uh, I'm like are you okay? He's like, my bodyguard. And then I was like, all right, just walk. And he's like, what? I'm like, just walk. And I don't even know why. I grab the back of his jacket. <laughs> and I push him through the crowd. And I put my head down behind him. <laughs> and people like trying to come, and I just started going. I was like, we gotta move people, we gotta move people. We gotta move people. Hey, yo, Jay, we gotta keep moving, we gotta keep moving. Sorry about it. no selfies. We gotta keep moving, y'all. We gotta keep moving, y'all. And people are like, Jay-Z, can I get a selfie? Yo, Jay, can I get a I'm like, no move, no selfies, people. Everybody, we gotta keep moving. Sorry, Jay, we gotta keep moving, Jay, we gotta keep. And I literally push him through the crowd, and we like barrel through, and then we get to the other side, and the bodyguards are there, and then they start like clearing the sides, and then I'm like clearing the back. People are trying to come from the back, and I'm like, no, we gotta keep moving, no selfies. No selfies. And no one sees it's me, because why would you think that I'm pushing Jay-Z? <laughs> So no one is like, is that Trevor Noah behind Jay? No. So I'm just like there behind him. We gotta move, Jay-Z. We gotta move, Jay. Sorry, ma'am, no selfish. We gotta move, we gotta move. We gotta get him out of here. Because the guy's gonna get mobbed, so he's pushing. And then the security guards, the most amazing thing, they're walking together. And I guess there were two. One was supposed to be ahead of him, one was supposed to be behind him. But there's a moment where they look at each other, like, wait, if you're here... <laughs> and so then... Like the one, like there's a panic and the one turns and then he sees that I'm like pushing Jay-Z and this guy just, he came up, he was going to break me. <laughs> it was like slow motion. He like turned and he come and I'm like, no, I'm sorry. And he comes and then as he grabs, Jay-Z's like, no man, he's doing a great job, man. Let's go. <laughs> and the bodyguard goes and then like, I just carried on rolling with Jay-Z, just like pushing him. <laughs> Walking ahead of him, it's like, no, 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 no pictures, no, no. And I was just like, I was like Jay Z security the whole way through. And then we went into like a secret exit where they leave out of like Beyonce. There's like, I feel like they built a basement for them. Because that's not how I came in. We came in on the street. And then I was like, where are we? And we just keep moving, just keep moving. And then he jumped in the car and then he turned. He's like, that was amazing, baby. We got to do it again sometime, baby. That was amazing. And I was like, yes, I'm Jay Z security. <laughs> I made it! Bill Gates was hosting his goalkeeper's um, uh, event in New York, and so he invited me to come and speak. And this, they're doing some amazing things, not just the organization, who the, the people they're supporting. And um, I get to the event, and I speak for like 10 minutes, and I get off stage, and I'm like waving at the crowd, and I'm, I'm walking backwards off the stage, moving to the backstage area, and then I crash into like a person. And as I crash into them, I see the eyes of people looking at me, and everyone's like, oh, shit, what have you done? You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, calm down. Humans bump humans all the time. And I turn, and the person I bumped into was Barack Obama, right? <laughs> yeah, but like physically, like, 
I, when I say bump, I mean like bump, like, it, you know? And so I turn, and then he's like, uh, whoa. He's like, it, but literally, his hands are up, and then he's like, uh, watch where you go. And then, uh, what he, he, said, he says, yeah, he says, watch, he said, watch where you walk. And so, so I turn, and then I was like, hey, man, I'm walking over here. And you should have seen everyone's face. They were like, oh, shit. Because I think they thought I didn't recognize him or I didn't know who he was. You could see people like, that's the president of the United States of America. And I was like, yo, man, calm down. And so I was like, hey, how are you, Mr. President? I haven't seen you in a while. And he's like, oh, doing good. How you been? You good? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing good. And like, I'm looking at his face and I didn't intend this, but I'm looking into his eyes and I'm speaking to him. And in that moment, I really, like, he's looking really, really good. Like, his skin is looking fuller. His, do you know what I mean? No, he just, he doesn't look as stressed as he was. And so, it slipped out. I didn't plan it at all. So, I'm speaking to him. He's like, uh, how you doing? Uh, da, 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 da. And then he says that. And then I was like, I was like, you're looking cute, Mr. President. <laughs> and he goes, uh, he goes, uh, well, thank you. Thank you. And I was like, no, no, I meant, I meant like, you look good. Uh... When is my mom going to be on the show? Never. <laughs> Here's the thing with my mom, two things. One, she has no interest in television or any of these things that I do. She just loves the fact that I can pay the rent and she loves me for who I am. <laughs> she genuinely does not care for all of these things. And I I'll give you an example. This is, how, this is how not interested in it my mom is, right? My mom, two, two and a half years ago, I met Lionel Richie for the first time. And growing up, Lionel Richie was the soundtrack to me and my mom's lives, right? So like Sunday morning, she'd be playing Sunday morning, the two of us would be there, we'd be dancing together, play all of Lionel Richie's songs, we'd be singing them in the house together. And then I meet Lionel Richie. So I'm like, this is amazing, Lionel Richie, my mom and I, we used to dance to your music when I was a kid. Can I take a picture? I'm gonna send it to my mom. I don't, my mom doesn't care about any celebrity, so I'm like, this is the one time mom's gonna be like, wow, you met Lionel Richie. So I took the picture and I sent it to my mom and then emailed it to her. I was like, mom, look, huh? What do you think? And then she replied, she's like, wow, you're getting fat. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but, uh, okay, let's move over that. First of all, the camera adds 20 pounds. Um, <laughs> But let's talk about the other person in the picture, Lionel Richie. And then she was like, oh yes, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay, that, that was the thing. She, like, she just genuinely, and then like four or five days ago, I guess she was on the internet, which she doesn't regularly do. She goes emails and then she's done. And she was on the internet, and then my brother like, was going through pictures of me or something, and then she was like, hey, I saw a picture of you and Lionel Richie. When did that happen? <laughs> I was like, it happened when I sent you the picture two and a half years ago. And then she was like, which picture? Then she's like, oh, the picture where you were fat. Then I'm like, ah!